No. The commander and I never had a thing. Well, that's her story. The cult comedy classic Galaxy Quest is not only a spot-on parody of Star Trek, it's also an homage to the series and its intense fandom. 25 years later, Screen Rant is boldly going where so many have gone before by taking a second look at the film. Let's see how it holds up. Product placement is more ubiquitous than ever before and has become a key source of funding for many television and film projects. Back in the late 90s, however, it wasn't as prevalent, and the overt product placement of Coca-Cola and Galaxy Quest is so glaringly obvious it can be distracting, reminding us that the film is not only a fun romp through space-time, but also a vessel for corporate marketing. Tim Allen's Jason Messmith serves as a thinly fictionalized version of William Shatner, whose ego-fueled antics are the stuff of the legend. Allen himself is no stranger to controversy with several stories circulating since the film's release, including arrests for drug possession, behavioral issues on set, and other things you can Google at your leisure. While some of these stories have damaged Allen's on-screen persona as the lovable everyman, they also underscore his performance as the self-serving Nesmith, making him more believable in the role. Hey, where's my limo? Sigourney Weaver's Gwen DeMarco's skimpy costuming and redundant position was a pointed critique of how female characters on Star Trek were written to make the show more appealing to male audiences. The film doubles down on this criticism when, at the end, we get the sequel Galaxy Quest show, subtitled The Journey Continues, and not much has changed for DeMarco, who is still very much there to service male attention spans. Perhaps a ham-fisted reference to the next generation and how it doubled down on the sexist tropes of the original show, with characters like Deanna Troy. I knew it! I knew it! While it seems like an obvious criticism today, it was a daring observation to make during the Clinton administration, one that may have gone over some viewers' heads. 